Good afternoon, and thank you so much for joining me for this WNCT Now digital news update. I'm Emily Severidge, live in our digital studio. Activists are gathering at the steps of the Lincoln Memorial in the nation's capital today to commemorate the 1963 March on Washington. Thousands are expected to take part in today's gathering, marking 57 years since Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. gave his iconic I Have a Dream speech. Activists will also protest against vigilante violence against blacks in the wake of yet another police shooting. Last Sunday, 29-year-old Jacob Blake was shot by a white police officer in Kenosha, Wisconsin. A white teenager from Illinois is facing homicide charges for the shooting deaths of two protesters in Kenosha following the Blake shooting. The gathering is expected to address a vision of racial equality, just like Martin Luther King Jr. did 57 years ago. The main event is running from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. today and is being live streamed on our website, WNCT.com, under Thousands Expected at March on Washington Commemorations. We have some weather for your Friday heading into the weekend. First alert meteorologist Alex Wasilenko has that forecast for us. Happy Bowtie Friday and National Bowtie Day, everybody. I'm your First Alert meteorologist, Alex Wasilenko, reporting from the First Alert Weather Center on my golden birthday, but also more importantly, on your Friday forecast. As we head into the weekend, the road ahead looks a little rocky. I'll show you what I'm talking about as we take you on over to Precision Cash, showing a beautifully hot and humid rest of your Friday forecast today. As we move into the overnight period, a few more clouds will filter on in, along with the threat for an isolated shower or storm. However, the better chances for showers and storms will arrive during the day Saturday. Notice that moisture gathering off to our west. That is moisture associated with what's left of Laura and also a cold front. They'll team up to send some strong to severe thunderstorms our way for Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. Those storms will pack a punch with heavy rainfall, damaging winds, frequent lightning, the potential for small hail and also the possibility of a few isolated tornadoes to track all the changes not only in the tropics but with your local forecast be sure that you have that free first alert weather app downloaded and in your back pocket that first alert weather app will come in handy this weekend in case any severe weather alerts are issued especially during the day saturday scattered showers and storms will be likely as we put a first alert weather day into effect for the first half of the weekend sunday we start to diminish the threat for showers and storms for both inland and coastal communities then that will lead to lots of sunshine throughout the early parts of next work week monday tuesday wednesday even into thursday for both inland and coastal communities will feature partly to mostly sunny skies and some refreshing temperatures slightly below average for this time of year in the middle to upper 80s make it a fantastic friday and a wonderful weekend i'm your first alert meteorologist alex wasilenko stay with us and we'll be right back with some more news after this short break there are our everyday actions to help prevent the spread of respiratory diseases. Wash your hands. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Stay home when you are sick. Cover your cough or sneeze. Clean and disinfect frequently touched objects with household cleaning spray. For more information, visit cdc.gov COVID-19. This message brought to you by the National Association of Broadcasters and this station. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're just tuning in, I'm Emily Severidge, live in our digital studio, providing you with some early afternoon updates. WNCT is bringing you live streamed updates every Monday through Friday at 1.30 p.m. and 4 o'clock p.m. to bring you the latest up-to-date news before our nightly newscast. Health officials in Charlotte say four people who took part in the Republican National Convention events in the city have tested positive for the coronavirus. The Republicans held limited events in Charlotte on Monday. The Mac Mecklenburg County health officials announced that two convention attendees and two staff members have tested positive for COVID-19. Approximately 792 COVID tests were conducted among individuals attending or working the convention. Mecklenburg County leaders say the people who tested positive were told to immediately go into quarantine. Any known close contacts were notified and issued isolation instructions as well. The Storm Relief Donation Center in Bertie County is changing its hours beginning Monday, August 31st. <laughs> 
Starting Monday, the center will operate from 10 o'clock a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. The center is located at the Bertie County, the Bertie Early College High School Gym on Governor's Road. The donation center is for people impacted by Hurricane Isaias or the Mor Morning Road tornado. Essential items are still available for those in need. That wraps up this WNCT Now Early Afternoon Update. I'll be back again at 4 with another update for you before our nightly newscast. Thank you so much for watching.